What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be an interesting one that's probably going to stir some controversy because the whole point of this video is going to be to help my viewers and help folks who are curious understand if the brand of vehicle that they support is the brand that truly is the vehicle they should be supporting. And I'll explain more about that after this. All right guys, so I know probably better than a lot of folks that people can be very, very brand biased. And what I mean by that is anytime I post a video on a vehicle, a new truck review or somebody else's vehicle or a review on a vehicle that I've owned, you always get folks that jump in and will start talking all sorts of crap about that brand. They'll say that it's the biggest piece of junk, that the reason you're having a problem is because it's that brand, or that the only reason they won't buy a vehicle is because it's a certain brand. Now, if your opinion of a brand is based on some personal tie to the brand, maybe you work for them, maybe you have a family member who works for them, maybe the president of the company saved your child from drowning in a pond. You know, if there is some really deep personal connection to that brand, then you may be biased based on that. And those are what I consider to be perfectly good biases. If you support a brand simply to support that brand for a personal reason that isn't necessarily tied to how that truck is built or what features that truck has or what its capabilities are, then I think for the most part that's okay because that emotional connection to that brand is important for those reasons. Now, if you're tied to a brand only because of the brand name or because maybe your father drove one or your grandfather drove one and he only told you to buy that brand based on his experience, then I think you really need to reconsider your bias. Mainly because there's a lot of folks out there who might be Ford owners and then they jump and they buy their first GMC truck and they absolutely love it. They don't know why they ever drove a Ford. Or you have a Ram owner who buys a Ford and they absolutely love the Ford. Or you have a Ford or GM owner who jumps into a Ram and they experience that Cummins for the first time and they never want to get anything else. The fact is, you need to be open-minded to truck brands. You need to be open-minded to what these trucks are now offering, because if you're not, they may be offering something that you really would want or need or enjoy or would use, but because you're completely avoiding that brand because of a bias, you'll never experience it, right? That's probably the number one thing that gets me when I see the comments on videos whenever I do a review. When I did a review of the GMC Denali 3500 dually pickup truck, there was so much to love about that truck. A lot of things that were absolutely great. But I think a lot of people would completely dismiss it because their Ford bias or their Ram bias just prevents them from even considering another brand of vehicle. And that's something that I think is really important to understand and acknowledge because if you don't open your mind up to what other manufacturers offer, again, you may be missing out on a really good vehicle that'll last you a really long time and provide you everything you're looking for, even potentially at a better price than the specific brand you're waiting for. And in my case, a lot of people are going to say, well, JD, you know, that is absolutely typical of you to say, even though all you're driving are F450s. Well, I drive the F450 because of the feature that it has. What people don't realize is I was a diehard GM fan for the longest time. All I would buy were Duramax pickup trucks. That's all I would own. I had two Duramax trucks in the past, and I absolutely loved them. When they came out with the 2500 HD truck, I loved that truck. I fell in love with that truck. It was a beautiful truck and I was really, really proud to own it. And I had to open my mind up to owning a different type of truck. Now, I'm not going to say I fell in love with Ford or the Ford truck at all, but what I did fall in love with was a feature that I could only get on Ford and that was the wide track front axle. If I hadn't opened my mind to that, then I wouldn't have accepted that as an option. And if I hadn't accepted it as an option, I wouldn't have been able to fall in love with that feature. 
in some cases falling in love with the 12 inch screen on the new Ram trucks or falling in love with the power wagon or falling in love with the new AT4 GMC heavy duty trucks or some of the camera features they have or some of the technology features that they're incorporating would easily be something that would sway people over to those brands if they gave them an opportunity. That's the problem. A lot of times people's biases are so deep. They have a truck from 2005 which didn't have a lot of technology, it really wasn't offered. They're looking at a new truck and they're saying, you know what, because I only love Ford because that's all I've driven, that's the only brand I'm even gonna consider. And when you only go shopping for that brand, you really may be missing out on some great features that other truck manufacturers are trying to use to sway you over to their brand, again, only because of a bias. Now, when it comes to half-ton trucks, I love them all. I've had an opportunity to spend time in multiple trucks from Ford, GM, as well as Ram, and even Nissan and Toyota. And there are very few trucks that I don't like from them. So what it comes down to for me is finding the one that I like better than the others. And oftentimes it takes driving them all. I am a huge fan of the technology that Ram is putting in their trucks and how smooth their trucks are. I'm a big fan of the looks of the new GMC trucks. I'm a big fan of some of the features that you still get on the Ford vehicles. I love the new tech that you get in a lot of these. And honestly, even the new Nissan Titan is growing on me. The only truck I really think is kind of behind times at this point is the Toyota Tundra, but the Toyota Tundra arguably is the most reliable half-ton truck you can buy. So there's reasons to look at them all. And if you're shopping for a truck, you need to take the time to stop by competing manufacturers that make you think twice about your bias because you may find yourself getting a better deal with more features, more amenities, a higher resale value, when you shop around and you stop considering only one brand. And that's the reason I wanted to make this video is because the brand that you feel you need to support, if you're supporting it for the right reasons, by all means, get that brand. But if you're supporting it only because you have some preconceived notion that a truck from 10 to 15 years ago is the reason why you need to buy that brand today, then you're probably mistaken and you need to reevaluate your brands. Anyways guys, that was the whole point of this video. It's really to help push you towards understanding why it's not a good time to be brand biased, why all the truck manufacturers are making very, very appealing vehicles with tons of features that really make sense and are designed to win you over from the brand you might be biased towards. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to your bank account, you owe it to your financing terms, Terms, and you owe it to your resale value to really explore all brands of trucks before just jumping on the brand that you've always supported from the beginning. Now again, I know it's controversial and I know some people will only buy one brand and won't even consider the information in this video. And if that's you, that's perfectly fine. I'm just telling you, you're potentially missing out on something special because you're stuck with the brand that you've always supported. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love for you to leave some comments below. Tell me if I swayed your opinion at all. Probably not, but maybe. If you haven't had a chance, I'd really appreciate it if you took a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you again very soon.